hello and welcome to the show. I'm here playing the ride demo. This is a bike racing game and before playing the demo I didn't really know a huge amount about it. I'd heard, I'd seen a couple of trailers for it, I'd heard, I'd, I'd seen, yeah, little things about it. It looked like a bike racing game. I thought, eh, I'll, I'll, give the, I'll give the demo a go. What I didn't expect is for this to essentially be almost the Forza of bike racing games and that's quite high praise. Uh, this being a demo of course we already get a little bit to uh, play with which is going to go into quick race. Uh, the reason why I say this is a little bit like the Forza of bike racing games. If we go into change bikes and the demo we get three bikes then oh, I should start off by saying I know bugger all about bikes. I don't I like I, I like racing bikes sure I like racing anything with wheels it's gonna be, gonna be go racing and then we're fine but I don't actually know anything about bikes. So <laughs> we've got three bikes we have a Kawasaki Ninja I've actually heard of these I, I've heard of the Ninja bikes then I, yeah, but they're quick, apparently. It's a super bike. We have a Honda and we have a Triumph. The Triumph is apparently a naked bike, and I don't know what that means, but apparently it is one. Um, now, the reason why I say that uh, this is like Forza, we press F4, we go in to customize. Yes, you can customize your bikes. Look, does this look familiar to you? Uh, you can customize things like you can customize your engine uh, with, with various bits. Again, there's different levels of. Uh, customization. As far as I can see, there doesn't seem to be a class system. So, uh, beside the actual category of bike, there doesn't seem to be a class rating system within that category, which means that it is possible to have perhaps overpowered bikes uh, racing. I do like that when you change the exhaust, it actually changes the exhaust on the bike. That is quite cool. And if you change the... Uh, where was it? Is it under... Appearance. I'm not sure. Yes, it is under appearance. You can change things like the brake and clutch thing. So you want blue ones, you can have blue handles, or you can have orange handles, which is what I want. Yes, we will have uh, <laughs> orange handles on the bike. It's just these little details. I didn't expect any of these from this game. Can we have orange grips? I really hope we can. Oh, We can't have orange. That's disappointing. We'll go with... Uh, We'll go with Lux Blue, sure. We'll make it a horrible mismatch of colours on the front, <laughs> the front of the bike. Yeah, I did not at all expect it to have all of this, all of this stuff uh, on here. I thought it was going to be a, a racing game with some actual sort of road bikes. I, I'm not going to increase the performance of this bike, otherwise it gets a little bit overpowered for the bikes that uh, that I'm going to end up racing against. But there's all of these customization options. Now you can you can change the livery. I'm not sure if there's actually going to be a proper paint mode, if you like. On uh, on this demo, you just get to choose between three liveries: grey, white, or black. Uh, I I would. And to be fair, there's not a huge amount you can paint on a bike, but it would be cool. Certainly on like the superbike, or so on this bike, there's not much to paint. On the superbikes, if you could make your own racing liveries, that would be cool. But um, you know, even with it just as it is, this is far more customization than I expected. And I think, I think I'm right in saying this that there is no PC game that's the equivalent of Forza or Gran Turismo. Like Forza and Gran Turismo are all about having lots of cars in your garage that you can modify, and there are no PC games that I know that really do that in the same manner. As for cars, it's going to have one for bikes though. I don't know how many bikes there are going to be in the game. I'm assuming there's going to be a decent amount though, seeing as when you go into these races I'm about to show you now, there's I think four or five different types of bikes in each. Um, so yeah, there's going to be a decent number of bikes. I'm going to get on the Triumph for this first race. I'll, I'll change the track. Um, of course, being a demo, you only get a little selection, but there does seem to be a, a half-decent selection of tracks available. Uh, we've got an Italian one, we've got uh, American, <laughs> we've got the countryside in Wales, J Japan, French Riviera, uh, Italy. Now, and then I think it goes on to real tracks. I think there is a... Is there a Miami Street Circuit? Well, there was one for the Formula E. I don't know if there is normally one. Imola... I don't know where this is. Um, Doddington Road America, Manicure, uh, somewhere in wherever in Spain, I can't pronounce you, and Argentina. I believe these are all real tracks. So there's a mixture of tracks and kind of areas to go through. And I'm, I'm assuming these are they might be real play, they, they might be real tracks. I'm assuming they're fictional though. They kind of look a little bit uh, like they'd be fictional. Uh, we'll start on the on the club circuit. Uh, race options. You get your normal uh, difficulty things. I'm... do we go on hard or realistic? I'm kind of in the middle of the two difficulties. I'll stick on hard and I'll just be slow off the line so I get lots of overtaking. Uh, physics, I mean, you've got your... 
uh, things here to help with assists and so on. I'm just going to go with Pro, uh, Anti Wheelie. Uh, right, let's turn that all off. Uh, I keep that on automatic because I can't remember what the button is, uh, so, and I would never think to do it automatically. Um, the depressor button to tuck in because I don't normally have to worry about any of that so yeah I'll let that do it automatically we'll go for manual transmission and we will turn the traction control off right uh, let's go racing let's see how I uh, <laughs> how I can fare uh, the loading times are a little bit long on here it is only a demo yes but the loading times do take a, a little bit it does come up with some interesting information about the bikes for those of you like me who don't know much about them that you can read I also don't quite get why we go through this confirm screen yes you can look at a shiny bike and then we go through another, another loading screen well, I don't know why we but uh, <laughs> I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, the graphics on here are pretty impressive. This game is made by uh, the same people that make the MotoGP game, the WRC4, and I think they made the motocross game uh, as well. And I wasn't expecting it to be the most uh, graphically amazing game, but I mean the bikes look pretty damn detailed. The area, okay, yes, it is a fictional area, which means you can go a little bit more showy. With the, with the scenery, you aren't restricted to what is actually there in uh, in real life. I'm just going to slow down a little bit, let the, let some bikes go ahead, so uh, I can have... Okay, 10th, sure. Um, oh, we're down to 12th, sure, okay. There we go. Um, <laughs> I seem to be much better at this club circuit than I am at the full circuit. Oh, rider down, and it wasn't my fault. Oh, we all, we all crashed over his bike. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, yeah, I seem to do better at this track than I do at the full circuit. For, uh, for whatever reason, don't drive into the person. Oh, somebody's very slow there. I will have you. Thank you very much. Uh, it is a little bit easier to make, as I was saying, to make the fictional areas look impressive because you can go crazy with the scenery. But yeah, it looks, it looks decent. It looks better than I was perhaps expecting uh, from the game. Where are we? We're in eighth. Now, where can I get past you? Sneak up the inside here? I think so. Don't run into the back of the bike in front, though, because that would be silly. Uh, now, bikes, racing bikes in general is quite different to racing cars. When I played the MotoGP games, it took me a little while to kind of get the hang of it, and it'll be the same case on here. I'll do the bikes handle realistically, I have no bloody clue. And I'm driving on a controller, so let's face it, that's not exactly the control scheme a bike was designed for. Uh, it does feel... it feels quite similar to the MotoGP games. And I don't know if that is a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, at least that's what it felt familiar, although it should feel familiar because that's not the only bike racing thing I've played. Um, it's The bikes certainly all feel different. Driving this, uh, I mean, I'm guessing this is still a sports bike of some kind, but going from this to the superbike, you know, you can really tell the difference. The superbike has got a lot more grip through the turns, a lot more speed, better brakes and so on. Um, whereas, you know, this, this, this doesn't quite have that. Uh, and yeah, all the bikes are feeling different. They all feel solid things to drive. It's not sort of airy fairy physics uh, on them. Uh, it feels, yeah, they feel good to uh, to race. Can I sneak up the inside here? Maybe I can. Maybe I should go down another gear. There we go. Got to remember that you rev the nuts off the bikes to get them going. I'm back up into third place. I've slightly, <laughs> slightly bounced off a barrier. Uh, my only, oh dear. We've had another slight bounce off uh, of wall. Uh, one of my, I guess, one of my main criticisms with this game is occasionally it gets a little bit um, keen with the invisible walls. I think I'm going to go with keen. Uh, do I? Uh, is there a place on here? I don't think there is a place on this map. Maybe it's the other track I'm thinking of. Oh, there's not. Yeah, sometimes like here I can run up all the way over here if I want to. Uh, occasionally, oh, I got a penalty timer for it, but uh, yeah, occasionally gets a little bit angsty with uh, having invisible walls around, so <laughs> you can't really go exploring uh, and get any airtime uh, with these bikes. Um, yeah, you will fall off if you have a crash, and like going over bumps, and if you try and sort of break and shift your weight from side to side, you will have crashes as I would expect you to have on these, and under, if you're sort of braking too heavily and turning and so on, the front end can sort of fall over, not fall over, it sort of slides and you fall off, I don't know what it's called, I'm sure there is a technical term for it, it happens in motorbike racing from time to time, not stuff I'm used to worrying about, because I'm used to driving cars that don't suddenly fall over uh, on you, I think I'm going to come third in this, uh, unless I can be really quick through this final turn, we're going for it, we're going for it, oh, we're going to get, oh, Oh, I think we got second. <laughs> that was a good finish. That was a bloody good finish to that race. Uh, oh, we got third. 
Oh, maybe the start line was a little bit closer. I actually want to... Uh, yeah, I know, I've got a title or whatever. I want to see that. Now, there is a, f a whole replay thing here. Very Again, if you play the MotoGP series, um, very similar sort of UI to this. I'm pressing right button. I'm driving this on a 360 controller, by the way. I'm pressing right button, and we're skipping ahead, and you've got all the controls. Well, here, you've got a little bar at the bottom to tell you how far you are through the replay. Uh, that was me exploring. The oh, because I got the penalty. That's why I came third. Ah. Oh. Disappointing. How close was it on the line, though? Uh, <laughs> that's what I want to know. Uh, that's, that penalty has now annoyed me. Uh, oh, back, back. Well, where's the... Uh, uh, do, do, where was the... Ah, that's the, that the... Ah, there we go. Found the controls for it. Uh, what's going on? Oh, I've, I've messed it up, basically. Uh, <laughs> never mind, but uh, yeah, there you go. It was a, it was a nice close finish. You got full replay thing. You got a camera mode as well for, for taking of pictures. We will move on, and I will have a go at the longer track now. And I will try. I'll have a go with the superbike as well and try and not fall off constantly. That would be, <laughs> that would be quite useful. Uh, yeah, no, it's through another another load. Not the worst. It's not as bad as GTA Five for loading times. Nothing is as bad as GTA Five for loading times that I played recently. Anyway, uh, right. Quick race, and then we got some monies, so if I wanted to modify stuff more, um, then I could. We will go for the Kawasaki, we'll go on the longer version of this track. I quite like these tracks so far, they're, they're nice to flowing tracks, Take, took a little bit of time, I think I played a couple of hours to get used to this game, um, but uh, maybe the AIs are a tad, oops, that's not what we wanted, uh, maybe the AIs are a tad, actually it is what I wanted, because I want to put laps up, I know what I'm doing. Honestly, I am perfectly awake. <laughs> the AIs are a tad easy, perhaps, if it's only taken me a couple of hours and I'm pretty much on the borderline of racing with the hardest difficulty, and I came into this with very little bike experience, maybe the AIs are a little bit on the easy side. Uh, possibly, yeah. Um, right, we will... Uh, we will get going. There's also a rewind feature that I may end up having to use on <laughs> on this race. It's quite easy to crash with the super bikes. They go a lot faster and this track is a little bit more difficult. Okay, here we go. You see, it's, it's pretty pretty damn detailed. Oh, I forgot to show off. There's a rider customization thing as well that uh, that you can do. So you can choose how your person looks. There's only a few presets to choose from. Uh, on on the demo, but I'm assuming come the full game you will be able to. Oop! There's a guy beside me got a little wobble. Uh, I'm assuming come the come the, act, the, the the full game if you like, it'll be sort of full customization. Which again, it's just little details that make this game fantastic. Uh, ooh, oh dear! I've, I've balls this corner up. Go down a gear. Remember the revs on the bike are much higher than on a car. Oh, I got a little bit unsettled across there. That was my bad on the uh, <laughs> on the brakes. Oh, and I'm all out of position. One thing you will find with bikes is if you get one. Certainly through a sequence of corners, if you get the first one wrong, you're in real trouble because you're going to get all of them wrong, uh, basically. The other thing that really, really, really impressed me about this game as we uh, end up uh, running up towards the barrier, ah, uh, falling over, ah, uh, rewind, uh, yes, this was an excuse. See, I totally wanted to show off the re- I also love <laughs> just going the, doing the slow-mo as the person crashes and wee! <laughs> um, we're breaking some physics! Whee! Oh, you've gone through the bike. That's impressive. Uh, <laughs> never mind. I wanted to show you rewind physics. Go back. How far back can I go? Oh, I've outbreak myself. Uh, either way, I'm going to outbreak myself into this first corner. Ooh, slow. Oh, okay, well, not too bad that time. Um, no, what really impressed me about this game, and one of the reasons why I'm now very much going to be buying this, is the AI, you may have noticed in the first race, the AI on here are utterly fantastic. They're some of the best AI I have ever raced against in any game. They may be not quite as exciting as the... Uh, oh, game got a little bit unhappy. Uh, that's the first time it's done that to me. Uh, they're not quite as exciting, maybe, as the Forza driver tars. They're not going to be doing ludicrous, silly stuff. But they actually give you space properly. They actually react to your position. And they don't do it in the Assetto Corsa way of just throw the car out of the way. Like, I liked the Assetto Corsa AI because, unlike most games, they did react to you being there. Whoopsie, I, that was me giving him a big nudge. Um, the Assetto Corsa AI did react to you being there. However, you could basically trick them to just moving out of your way by being slightly braver on the brakes and they would just sort of dive out of the way to avoid a collision. Whereas on here, I don't know if I can show you, uh, probably not because I'm just going to drive into the side of them, uh, <laughs> it's very hard to actually deliberately show you because it's just something that happens naturally. Uh, when you're racing side by side with a bike, it will give you space. And that is so rare for a game. 
they will give you enough room. And it's not the dive out of the way room. They will just move over a little bit, just uh, just so you're there. I think in the mm, two hours I played this game, I've been crashed off by an AI once, and that was probably my fault for being erratic, <laughs> because I was slightly out of control. Uh, anyway, if we have a dive, oh, sorry, that was again. <laughs> <laughs> Me trying to uh, show up. I've thrown the AI a little bit off there. Um, but the fact that they are reacting to where I am on the track, no other game has done it this well. Nothing's even got that close to doing it this well. Now, it may also help that uh, me being inexperienced and taking slightly weird lines. Oh, oh, stay on, stay on. <laughs> hey! <laughs> That's, I've not seen that animation before. That's quite cool. <laughs> we survived, though. Yeah, if you do start, like if the bike starts to go and you don't do something stupid, you can recover it, uh, like 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 you saw there. Um, but yeah, the AI really impressive. And what that means is you can have. You see there, he just dived out of the way as I was coming past. And uh, whoa, and now he's going to come and get me back. No, nope. see, he didn't. He could have clouted into the side of me as we accelerated away there, but he didn't. He reacted to where I was and to me being slightly, uh, <laughs> slightly out of position and a little bit slow. I'm really very, very impressed with these. Uh, a, a lot of games could learn from uh, from these AIs. Admittedly, it may be slightly easier for bikes to ha have these little movements because you know there's sort of degrees of lean you can be doing and you can slightly change it. But either way. It makes the racing fantastic. You will often see here, unfortunately the field does get seem to get spread out really quickly, which is a little bit of a shame, uh, because when it isn't spread out, certainly on the first lap, there is some really good racing with like a large pack of bikes. Uh, there's some really good... I can sit at the back of the pack and just watch and it's good fun. Just watching the AIs battle with each other. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking about getting underneath in there, couldn't quite do it. Uh, yeah, they will have they will have close races with each other. You can have close racing, and you don't you're not constantly worried about them taking you off. On on Forza Five, as exciting and silly as it is, almost, um, you've got a constant fear that the AIs are suddenly going to get bored and crash you off. We're gonna have a sneak up the inside of one, but that's gonna make me all slow off the next corner. Or is it? Nope. I will be brave and floor it and get a little slide. We're up into sixth. Dare I have a dive at the inside? I think so. Uh, I don't know where, I can never remember where to break for this turn. Oh, that was apparently too late. Oh no. There you see, we've slowed it down. Just about. Now don't get too crazy on the throttle. What I say about invisible walls, if you go out there, where the, well, where the hill sort of starts, there's a very fine line between being allowed on the dirt. You're not basically allowed up the actual hilly bit. There, there is a very, a very small fine line to uh, go, oh, no, I've taken that. Uh, no, we've got to run the fence very near. <laughs> That could have ended catastrophically. Here is another example. Uh, it does not take very much to uh, hit an invisible wall through that corner there. Right, slow down, get the change of direction sorted, and no, wait. <laughs> to be uh, as strange as it's going to sound, this reminds me a tiny bit of NASCAR driving these bikes. There's a lot of waiting through the turns that you don't quite do in a in normal circuit cars. There's yeah, again, requires a bit of patience. Oh, slow down for this. I I seem to be quite quick through this turn here, which is whoa, which is rare for me. And oh, we're gonna bump our face against the crash barrier. That would be, whoa. <laughs> that would be silly. Little bit of a slide from my bike. Uh, we've got a couple more laps. I don't know if I'm gonna get up to first. Oh no, I'm, oh, God damn it! I could have been quicker through there. Oh, push it right, <laughs> right to the very edge of the track there. Uh, if you clip the wall very slightly, you'll be okay. Um, like you can you can bounce off the walls ever so slightly, but any anything more than that, and of course you're gonna you're going to fall off. I also like how your if you fall off, your bike is still an entity, if you like. So if you or if the riders in front of you uh, crash off the road and their bike is spiraling down the track, you can still hit it, or they can still hit yours, and will st and still fall off. Uh, often you know they kind of suddenly it's not a thing anymore. It's just spiraling out of control. Hey, slow it down. Uh, we've outbraked ourselves ever so slightly. Oh, nope, trying to get on the power too soon. More sliding. <laughs> More sliding from the bike because I'm trying. I'm using all of the speed that I have. I mean, you can see I'm the fastest bike on the track here, basically. I've caught up to third and fourth, and they're having their own little battle. Yes, do that. Slow each other down. Uh, you can see them sort of just doing little movements to avoid each other. Uh, that helps me catch up when they're doing all of that. It doesn't help when I do something stupid. Oh, he bounced him off the uh, <laughs> off the arm code there. See? Yeah, having a great race on their own. I think there may be a little... Um, I was thinking there's a little bit of pushing between the pair of them there. I'm not sure there was, actually. Come on. Get on the power. Get on the power. Don't go hit the barrier, though. Uh, 
don't hit the barrier. I do struggle a little bit with the fighter movements. I try my best with the with these, but uh, yeah, I'm not so good at the fighter movements. Oh, that was close. Very nearly <laughs> wiped out the back. I think that's a Ducati. I'm not sure. I think I saw the lights. I recognise the, the interesting lights. I swear I saw them have a, no, have a number plate on the back with Ducati on. Maybe they don't. Oh well, who knows. Uh, <laughs> right, I can seem to be quite quick through this final turn as well. That was still out of position. Go, bike, go! Ah, uh, bugger it, I didn't have quite good enough drive. Alright, it's the battle for the final podium spot. I think the leaders are too far gone. Can we get these? No, I'm gonna... If I, I could probably just go around the outside of them, but it'd leave me in such a wonky line for this next corner that that would be a bad idea. Now, up the inside, see, there was just that little... That little movement, and then, well, I drove into the back of him, just that little movement to uh, make sure there wasn't a collision, or if there was, it was only a very light brush. And that's <laughs> that's what I really like. The racing, you can have such fantastic fun racing. Oi, we're going out wide. Uh, ooh, can we get it down to first and get out the other side without spinning the wheels up? Or without crashing anyway, we did spin the wheels up a tiny bit. Hey, I'm up into third. Can I have a blistering final half a lap? and catch the, the lead pair. If you two could crash each other off, that would be really useful. Oh, that was a nice corner from me there. Look at that! Haha! <laughs> I am on it this lap! Don't bump a wall. Don't bump a wall. Or an invisible wall! Don't crash. And make sure we get it slow down for these turns. Oh, I'm a little bit wide and now I'm trying to get on the power too soon. But they're fighting, which is always useful. Go. Ooh, careful now. Careful now. And go! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bike! We can do it! Oh, this is going to be a really bloody close finish again, isn't it? Oh, I've slightly ballsed up this turn. I've got to wait a bit longer to get on the power and to get it turned. Oh, go on! No! Bad bike! Behave yourself! <laughs> Use all of the power! Uh, just don't spin the wheels up and don't fall off. I don't have a penalty this time, so if I do get a third, it, it will be a genuine third. Uh, no, I'm not going to do it, I don't think. We are going... I'm going to... Oh, run towards the fence, but they're too far ahead. Ah. <laughs> Two third places on bikes that I don't really know much about. Um, yeah, I've been massively impressed with this game. I recommend you go and pick up the demo. This is on Steam. I believe there is a demo on PS4 as well, not on Xbox One. The game is coming to all three, PC, Xbox One, PS4. I don't even know if it's coming to 360. I don't think it'll 360 and PS3. I don't think so, but it could be. Uh, I really recommend you give this game a go. Even if you're not a massive fan of bikes like me, don't really know much about them, you can still have a lot of fun with this. As I said, it's very much the, the Forza of bike racing games from what I've seen so far. The racing is fantastic because the AIs actually behave like you... like like racers, if you like. They, they, they react to where you are on the track, meaning you can have some really close racing. Uh, yeah, I've been mighty, mighty impressed with uh, with this lot so far and there's plenty of assists for you to get to learn the game with if uh, yeah if, if you don't know what you're doing when it comes to bikes but uh, that is it from me so uh, thank you very much for watching and until next time uh, goodbye